$2 bills can be incredibly rare and valuable. If you look for the smallest detail that you're going to see in this video on the bills that I go over. Now, first of all, it's really important to understand that the US Bureau of Engraving and Printing, where they produce these bills, still produces $2 bills to this day. That's right. You can typically go to your local bank and get $2 bills directly from them. Now, there's a few things I need to go over to make sure that you know how to tell the difference between a normal $2 bill and one that's worth thousands of dollars or more. Here's the thing. I typically carry around $2 bills in my wallet just so I can hand them out as a tip or if I'm paying for a small item at a store just because most people are so fascinated when they see a $2 bill. A lot of people think that just because they have a $2 bill, that means it's worth a lot of money. So without wasting any more time, let's hop into this video. So this $2 bill right here, as you can see, is in pretty good condition and graded by a company called PCGS at a 64 PPQ. PPQ means premium paper quality and 64 is getting close to that 70 grade, which is the highest achievable grade. Now, here's a few things. First of all, if you find a rare $2 bill, do not fold it, do not damage it. While that seems pretty apparent, if you do it on accident, you're pretty much decreasing the value immediately. Next, you need to know that just because your bill has a date on it, like this one from 1976, does not necessarily mean that's exactly when it was produced. So pretty much what you need to know is that when they're producing the printing plates, they put a specific year when they start, and every year they don't want to have to redo the plates and change the year. So for example, this specific bill right here could have been produced in the early 80s for all we know, or it could have been produced in 1976. Next, we have to look at the district seal on the left. You can see there is a large letter B. Now you'll also notice that the prefix letter is also a B. That's that green letter B at the start of the serial number. Now, if those two letters are different, the large black letter B and the small green B, if they're different, that could make your bill worth a lot of money because they should always be the same. One other area to look that not many people know about is the district number around the bill. Those are the small black little twos around the bill. Now, if you haven't realized yet, B is the second letter of the alphabet, which is why those are number twos. Now, if the district letter was an A, those numbers would be 1. If it was a C, the numbers would be 3. If it was a D, it'd be 4, etc. If the letter and the number do not correlate, like I just described, you could have something incredibly rare. So why did this bill sell for $360? Well, this is a radar serial number. So if you look at the first and the last digit, they're both 0. You go in one, they're both 0 again. You go in one more, they're both 8s. You go in again, and they're both 9s. So they're pretty much the same from the start to the middle and the back to the middle. If that makes sense. So pretty much what you need to know is that if you have a rare serial number, it could be worth a lot of money because this $2 bill sold for $360. I'll be very brief here, but this one sold for $646. Essentially, this is a bill that is in honor of the fallen tribute. They're pretty much referencing 9-11 here. You can see the serial number says 2011, which is the year, and then 0911, which was the date that a lot of us were severely impacted by, especially those with close relatives that were impacted by this. But pretty much what's important here is the serial number. If you have a fancy serial number that means something or has a specific year or a birth date or anything like that, then people will pay money for it. Because again, this $2 bill sold for $646. This bill sold for $1,560. And this is why. So it's a 2009 $2 bill. Now I'll get straight to the point. This bill graded at the perfect grade of 70. Now, how do you get that grade? First of all, I'll tell you this. It's really really challenging to get that grade. And second of all, you pretty much need to have the margins centered perfectly. So what do I mean by that? If you look at the white border on the front and the back of the bill, it needs to measure identically all the way around. This is how the Bureau of Engraving and Printing envisioned this bill to be printed, but quality control measures sometimes make the centering of a bill not that great, but this one has perfect centering. On top of that, there has to be no folds or dents or any sort of damage to the bill, but the grade alone pretty much allowed this bill to sell for one 
$1,560. This $2 bill sold for $2,530. I'll try to keep it brief, but essentially you can see this has a specimen stamp on the front and the back of the bill. This is considered to be a specimen note. And what these are is the US pretty much printed a bunch of these and gave them to banks around the world that accepted US paper money. Essentially all it is, is a way for the bank tellers to tell if they got a fake bill at the bank. You have to realize that these bank tellers around the world are not familiar with US currency. So this just gave them a way to surely know that the bills that were being given at the bank were indeed genuine. Now how these got out, I'm not exactly sure. One thing led to another and a bank clerk might have sold one or multiple to a collector. Now you have to be really careful because there are some people out there that will try to fake this and put a stamp on a normal bill. One way to tell is that most of the time there's going to be an ascending ladder serial number on these specimen bills or some sort of fancy serial number. You can see this one starts at two and ends in nine consecutively. That's a really good way to tell that you have a genuine specimen error, just like this person that sold a bill for $2,530. I'll only spend 20 seconds here, but this $2 bill sold for $63,250. And yes, this is indeed a genuine 1928 $2 legal tender note. Now you can tell immediately that this has a red serial number and seal. Yes, technically you could bring this $2 bill to your local grocery store and spend it. Now, a couple reasons I don't advise that is one, because it has way more collector value. And two, I've heard plenty of stories of people at a grocery store calling the cops on someone because they think that the $2 bill like this is fake. That's part of the reason why I want to educate as much as I can on these $2 bills. But what you need to know is that if you have a red seal $2 bill with a star like this, and it's in high grade, from 1928A, you're in luck because this one sold for $63,250. This $2 bill sold for $7,500. Now, this goes to show that condition is not everything, but I can guarantee you that this bill would have brought more money if it was in better condition because this is a serial number one bill with a star from the Dallas, Texas district. You can see that K at the left there, meaning this note is for Dallas. Now, it's pretty straightforward if you have a serial number one bill bill, you're in luck because again, this bill sold for $7,500. I'll be very brief here, but this bill sold for $79,312. This is an 1869 genuine $2 bill. Some collectors call this a rainbow note because of the security features of the blue, the green, and the red seal there. Very highly sought after bill. Regardless of condition, it's going to be worth good money, but this one was graded out a 68 PPQ. That's why it sold for $79,312. $35,000. $250 for this $2 bill. Now, this is an example of a good graded condition $2 bill. You saw the other one that was a serial number one was in much worse condition, brought a lot less money. So this is why condition is very important. Keep your bill safe because again, this $2 bill sold for $35,250. YouTube has a complex algorithm that knows exactly which video you want to watch next. And that video is up on the screen right now. So click on that video and I'll see you inside.